Hello friends, it's me, Laura Burns, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're here for the first time, jazz hands. I am super excited because today I have a trunk club to try on for you. And if you don't know already, trunk club is my very favorite uh, subscription box. I love it. I, um, I don't know, I just always like really enjoy the clothes, even if stuff doesn't fit me, or even if I don't need it right then, I always love it, and I get such a good variety of clothes from them. Um, and it's a big box, so I get like 12 items, um, and that's very exciting to me, <laughs> because I like having lots of stuff to try on at one time. So, uh, Trunk Club is a clothing subscription box. It has sizes from, I don't know, very small up to my size, which is a 4X, or a 26, 28 and it costs $25 uh, per box to have it styled for you. If you keep something, then the $25 is applied to whatever you keep. Um, if you keep something from the box and need it to be hemmed, I'm pretty sure you can take it to a Nordstrom store and have their Nordstrom tailor hem it for you for free. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've never taken advantage of that, so now I'm like, hmm, is that actually true? I don't know. Anyway, so I won't uh, ramble too much in the beginning because it is a lot of items, but I do want to say, um, this time with the trunk, it was a little different because as I was reviewing, oh, one of the best things about it is that your stylist, who you have a real relationship with and can message at any time, um, will style a trunk for you and then you get to review it and say, keep this, keep this, no, don't send this, don't send this, yes, send that, you know, whatever. Um, and so you get to veto things that you just like really don't like or know that you won't wear or um, for me it's a lot of like too hot for that, <laughs> too hot for that. Um, and yes, I really appreciate that you can go in and change it. So this time, for the very first time, when I went in to review my trunk and say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, um, it gave me the option to add accessories. This is new. I've never seen this before. So it had, um, you can add up to three accessories from this list of stuff and they had like a bunch of different sunglasses, a bunch of different jewelry. Um, there were even like undergarment options. Um, and then there were like scarves or like gauzy kimono-y things. Um, very cool. So this time I chose to pick only jewelry options because I don't need any sunglasses. I don't want their undergarments. Um, there was like underwear, but they were just thongs. And then there were Spanx and I don't want either of those. Um, I have enough kimono. So I just went in on the jewelry. I picked three pieces to try on. Um, that I'm pretty excited about and I had requested because you can message with your stylist I had requested like hey um, I want to try the Arizona style of Birkenstock which is like the most classic style which I've never tried before um, so if you find that in a fun color can you send that and she was like sure no problem um, what else and then the overall direction for this trunk was just like spring moving into summer fun pieces, things that were detailed or bright colored or um, just a little different in some way. So that was the motivation behind the trunk. I'm actually gonna stop now and we'll get to it. So hang on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so first outfit I have a top from BP and a 4X and a skirt that you can't see yet, but it's amazing from Leith, like Keith with an L and a size 4X. So let's start here. This is a, what is this? Cotton, almost linen-y feeling um, material. It's super breezy, lightweight, perfect for summer. Um, and this super cute white and baby pink stripe. And then with kind of like a very light tortoise shell button. The straps are adjustable. They are very thin and it is a very thin shirt. So like I wouldn't want to wear it without a bra, but then it's like bra straps and like y'all, I'm never going to wear a strapless bra. So I did, um, put this bra on. This is the only bra I have that's in a light color. This is actually like 
a baby pink bra. So I was like, well, I guess this is how I would wear it. So here's the length of the shirt here. Now it's completely not stretchy. It is, um, you know, loose on the body, but y'all know when I sit down, I expand. So that would look like this. And it still works like it gets, you know, tighter around my belly, but it still is on my body. I'm not busting any seams. <laughs> And then um, I also was thinking, because y'all know I love to tie things up, and this is a very trendy look right now, is the um, little tied in front shirt. So I could do something like that and tie this up over shorts, um, or I could layer this over another dress. Um, I could layer it over a little white t-shirt. Ooh. I could layer it over a little white t-shirt or um, I have a white tank top that fits close to the body that I bought for layering and that would also help solve the bra problem. I bet that would be super cute and that's very 90s with the like thin strap over the t-shirt. Okay anyway so here's the like tied up look and you'll see the skirt. This is from Leaf. So it is a midi skirt. It's pretty long. If you're tall this is going to be great for you. If you're short like me well, you're going to want to pull it up to wherever your natural waist is, which is where I would wear this skirt anyway, because um, that's where clothes want to sit on me and they'll find their way there eventually. So it is this gorgeous pleated material. So I'm going to pull it out so you can see how, um, how much room in the skirt there is. So much room. <laughs> so this is a 4X, but for sure this could fit larger. So even just to start with, there's a lot of room in the waist. It's nice and stretchy. It's not lined, which I love for the hotter months. Um, so if you're bigger than me, you can totally get in here. And the, I mean, the skirt is like free size. So it's really uh, generously sized, which I think is great. It's gonna fit a lot of bodies. Um, the waist is just elastic and it looks like elastic this elastic band looks like grow grain ribbon so it's very pretty so like I don't mind it being seen you know sometimes the waist is like less cute but anyway I think it looks really cute it's a nice contrasting um because of the black you know contrast with this and mimics the lines in the skirt it, and this skirt is so pretty the green the baby pink the white the black I am super into it um so yeah it's very comfortable it feels like I don't have a skirt on because it's not super tight. This isn't super tight, y'all know. I love a lot of movement. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm like ready to go. I'm, re I'm in my outfit, let's go. I'm ready. So here's from the side and the back. Cute. I'm really, um, I don't know, I'm already very happy with this box. Even if nothing else in this box fits or I don't like any of it, like already successful, already like feeling very cute. So this is definitely going in the, I like it and I'm considering keeping it um, stack. This could only be better if it had pockets, but you know, people don't like to give us pockets. I'm just gonna look in the mirror. Oh my God, you guys, I feel so cute. I love it so much. I really like this top. Oh my God, I thought the wall was closer. Um, <laughs> I really like this top and I really like the idea of putting um, like a white something underneath uh, because I think that that would help like with my bra strap issue. And just like if I'm outside in the sun, like I just worry about burning. Um, I worry about like my tattoo fading in the sun, which has already happened a lot since I got it. So I really am glad I thought of putting, I'm a genius y'all, I thought of putting a shirt under here, anyway. Um, okay, moving on to the next outfit, even though I want to stay in this and be cute. Anyway, okay, I have to move on, you guys. What do you think? I'm digging it. Okay, so this next item is kind of a bummer, but also it's great. <laughs> so these are some really flowy wide leg pants from BP in a size 4X. They have pockets that are actually like a reasonable size. They have little pleats here, um, which helps the fabric just like flow. You can see how wide like they are. They're actually a good length for me. They've got elastic, like 
from here to here in the front is the only part that's not elastic so the waist has some nice give now these are great and I would 100% keep them if they fit when I sat down <laughs> They're not stretchy, so they fit great when I'm standing, and I think they look really good. Um, I mean, they could be a little higher in the waist, but like honestly, it's fine. I would still wear them. But I sit down, and they're tight, and I worry about like hulking out of them and like ripping <laughs> seams. So they're not gonna work for me. But it's so close. Like they're great when I stand. Um, so if you are interested in these pants, like they're really beautiful, they're good, like you could wear them to work, but you could also like transition it. Like if you had an outfit like this and at work, you know, obviously like you could, you know, look professional, wear a jacket or some other kind of shirt. And then after work, hey, <laughs> going out for drinks, taking off my jacket, tying up my shirt, like looking cute. Oh my gosh. Or you could just like, you know, dress them down all the time. Anyway, um, I can see these pants looking good on a lot of kinds of bodies. And if they were just out of even a semi stretchy material, they would work for me. This tag is sticking to my arm. Um, so, but they're really great. So if you like the look of these pants, you like the idea of like these like super flowy wide leg pants, they're very classic. You could wear these for so long. Um, I would go for it BP size 4x and because they're from BP they're probably not going to be too crazy expensive um, BP is always really affordable um, the only thing is if you're like an apple shape or a pear shape or whatever like you need to size accordingly so I can't size up because they don't make a 5x but if they did I could totally go for that um, but if you are smaller than me <laughs> and could either size up to accommodate your lower half or the sizing actually works for you. Um, I highly recommend these pants. I really like them. Here's from the side. On the back. Oh, I'm bummed, but that's okay. <sighs> I wish that they were just a little stretchy. That would be so perfect. I like them a lot. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> So this next top is from Dontel, which is a brand that I um, have gotten those waterfall cardigans from. Um, and this is a really beautiful eggplant purple. And I wanna come close so you can see the texture. There you go. And it has stretch, which is nice. It's really uh, lightweight and thin. It has like that relaxed, dropped shoulder. Um, a little bit of sleeve, but not like too much. So. Like, I like everything sleeveless, so, but this amount of sleeve I can handle. If you like coverage, this is great for you. So it's like having, almost having like kind of that tank top, but just this little cap sleeve. Um, it's very easy, which is one of the things I keep asking her for is like easy, oversized, breezy <laughs> kinds of things. Um, it does have a little high-low thing going on. So in the back, it's longer. If you want that coverage, a little shorter in the front, um, and it is long, so my butt is completely covered, and um, most of my stomach, like just a sliver of my stomach kind of hangs down because I have a big stomach. Um, it's got a notch on the side, it's stretchy, it's so, like, I love it. Um, it did come in a few colors. She had put this in my trunk uh, to review in black and I clicked on the colors and I chose to get it in this purple. It also came in um, like a medium gray and a dark green if I'm remembering correctly. But I chose purple because purple is um, one of my favorite colors and I'm wanting to have more purple and plum in my wardrobe. Um, so the gray would have been a little more like spring summer colored um, but I mean, I don't have to only wear light colors or bright colors in the spring and summer. Hey puppy, my dog has a cone on right now. It's so funny, poor baby. <laughs> anyway, um, I really like this. I, it's definitely going in the, I would like to keep this pile. Uh, so I, I think I'm gonna be making some decisions. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this. I can totally see me wearing this with um, like leggings or 
uh, jean shorts or with like a tight pencil skirt, my black uh, tight pencil skirt. I don't know that I would tuck this in anything because it's so long. There's like a lot of stuff to tuck in. Um, but it just feels like really comfortable and cozy and like pajamas, right? Y'all know I'm always trying to find clothes that feel like pajamas, but that are not actually pajamas. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really like this. Again, it's from Dontel size 4X. I think that it runs uh, true to size, but like generously so. Um, because it's fitting really well on my bottom half, which veers on the 5X territory. So, yes, here's from the side and the back. It's so cute. I like it. It seems like a good, like, staple piece that I could wear uh, when it's warmer out because it's so thin, but also transition this to colder times of the year. And especially, like, in... Um, like in fall and winter, I could just wear it with like leggings and boots and like boom, outfit. Okay, moving on. Um, I have a couple more tops and a couple of dresses. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> Do you recognize this top? Um, so she put this in my trunk in a different uh, pattern. And I went in, I was like, oh, that looks like that shirt. And I was like, oh, it is that shirt oh, they still have the polka dot, so I changed it to this one um, because since I got this before, tried it on, really liked it, but decided that I didn't need it and sent it back, I've thought about this shirt. So that tells me that I actually really like it and want it. So um, I'm excited to get it back again. So it's from Caslon, in case you uh, missed the first one or don't remember. Why would you remember that? Anyway, Caslon in a size 4X, it's a really lightweight, like a kind of a almost, almost gauzy, but not quite like really light, perfect for summer. Um, and it has this kind of a high neckline, which normally I wouldn't like, um, like this would be terrible for me, but it stays open. Uh, like there's a buttonhole, but there's no, no, there's not a buttonhole. Y'all, I made that up. So there's, you know, it's supposed to be open. And then it has these cute little hang things that hang down, which you could like tie it closed, but I will never do that because I don't like that. Um, so it can get just kind of like be how it wants to be, or you could really like turn it open like this. I think it's so cute. I love this, um, this black piping here, which is actually, I don't know if you can see, there's like tiny holes in it. It's not coming across on the screen. It's really hard to show. Anyway, and then it has pin tucking here. It's like a dream. The armholes are not too big. So I would totally wear this tucked into a tall skirt um, or just like with jean shorts. I think it's cute. Y'all, I have to keep this this time. So it's definitely going in the I want to keep it pile. And I am like 90% sure in this moment that I'm going to keep this. Um, I really like it a lot. Is it longer? It's slightly longer in the back, maybe. Just barely. Now there's no stretch to it, but it fits generously enough that when I sit down, it's fine. So it does pull taut across my body, but I'm not like risking popping any stitches or anything. <laughs> and it's not a stretchy fabric, but it does have a little bit of give, um, if y'all know what I mean. So, okay. Yes, I love it. Okay, what a good trunk. Okay, so um, here's a fail. <laughs> this is from Leith. It's very cute. It is not fitting me at all. It's much too small. Um, now, first of all, look how pretty the material is. It has these cute buttons down the front. Now, this looks weird because it's supposed to be down on your shoulder, but I literally can't reach to pull down. And if I pushed through, I would probably rip this shirt. So uh, I can't pull them down, but I, they're supposed to be, you know, like this kind of a situation. Uh, it's so small, I can't move. Anyway, but look, it's so cute, a little crop thing, a little like baby peplum situation happening. Um, it's from Leith, did I say that? Leith and a 4X. And you know what, I had another around the holidays, another like kind of non-stretch, 
crop toppy kind of thing from length and it was also small on me um and so i just think that like this style from them is not going to fit me now if it were stretchy it would fit great <laughs> um i think i need to make a note in my trunk and just be like stretchy is best <laughs> send me stretchy clothes um because this would be really cute although i don't love off the shoulder stuff because it never stays off the shoulder and then I'm like fiddling and you know, anyway, so here's this while I'm at it. I have two items that straight up just did not fit me. So here's the first one. This is from Caslon, and I did get this on my body, but it was so tight that it was like pressing my stomach in, you know, when something is too small and it makes it like very flat in a weird way. It was very uncomfortable. I don't, uh, I didn't want to stay in it long enough to even talk about it. But it's very cute and if it would fit you i recommend it it's from caslon it's this cute like paper bag waist chambray skirt so the waist does have elastic and a drawstring and it's just very simple and very cute there's a pocket on each side and then on the back there's two pockets can you see them yeah there you go um it looks very short but when i put it on because i have short thighs it was um I mean, at the top of my knee. <laughs> if you're very tall, this might be very short on you, which you might be into, um, but just know that going in. So the quality is really nice. The material is really soft, like, and it um, is chambray, so it's like, you know, denim, but it's it has movement. So it's very cute. It just doesn't fit me. Um, I would say this is, so it's a 4X, so it's not a 26, 28. This is more like, a solid 26 you would be totally fine in this um or even if you're like a 24 26 um or just a 24 who likes a little more room because it has a drawstring so you can adjust um anyway from castle size 4x really really cute it just is not working for me y'all i need that stretchiness on the bottom <laughs> and then the other thing i can barely move in the shirt the other thing that she sent that i could not get closed are these shorts from Leith, and so they're non-stretchy. Um, they're very tailored, which is cute, and if they fit, they'd be very cute. Um, so they have darts for shaping and everything, and then the leg, where's the leg? Here's one leg. It's big, so it actually, and it kind of goes out just a little bit, so it's got some movement, so it's kind of a flowier short. Um, these were really cute. This is from Leith in a size 4X. It has a zip on the side. Uh, I was like inches away from getting it closed. There was no way it was going to happen. Um, but so I would say like these are a 4X, but I would say like a 24, 26 um, or even just a solid 24 in these. Um, yeah, they did not work for me at all. Okay. Um, so I have two dresses and then I'm going to show you the shoes and the jewelry. There's still more y'all. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? So I took my bra off. Well, I, I'm so lazy. I didn't even take it all the way off. I just like pulled the straps down and pulled it under my boobs. <laughs> but this is what it would look like. Um, there's no getting around these straps. So if you are willing to wear a strapless bra, you can do so. I am not, so I would just wear this with no bra, or maybe I would get like a stretchy bandeau bra. I could do that. I could I could hang with that. But y'all know, I don't even wear regular bras. I wear bralettes uh, every day of my life. <laughs> or no bra when I can get away with it. So um, before I show you this dress, I just want to tell you that it's amazing. Okay, so this is from Leith, again, in a 4X, and it's more of their beautiful pleated fabric. And look, so far the colors you can see, aren't they so pretty? Aren't they so like springy, summery? Okay, you ready? Look at this dress, look at this dress, it's so cute. Again, another huge skirt. This is really floofy here. So um, underneath it's Thin and you can see my nipples through it so I'm not going to raise it all the way up but it's lined underneath with this orange <laughs> and so that's what's underneath the flounce and that's what's underneath the skirt you can see my bike shorts um, and so you all know me I would probably cut 
this bottom lining out because um, I don't need it. I'm always wearing bike shorts or something. So um, for me, having that lining is kind of unnecessary. Um, and I would rather have the just like free breezy blowing situation of just the overskirt. And I will say, if you are bigger than me, there's some room in the waist. So here, I would say there's like three inches on each side that I can pull this out to where I'm getting to the max. Now, obviously, you probably don't want to wear it like stretched to the max, but there's definitely some room here. I think um, certainly a solid size 28, um, a small size 30 on top could fit in here. And if you do like me and cut the lining out, then the skirt is free size. So you could totally wear this if you're bigger than me, if you're willing to cut the lining out. Um, so I think that I would probably shorten the straps just a scotch um, because I would want the back to sit just a little higher because then it'll come up a little higher into my armpit. I like a little more armpit coverage, um, although they're honestly not that bad. I, would, I could wear it without it, but just for how I like things to fit. So here we go, look. I think it's really cute, so much movement again, just like the skirt. Um, uh, and it's funny because yesterday, oh, a couple of days ago, I wore this skirt that I got from Target that is like pleated like this. And I was like, man, I don't have anything else like this and I never wear anything like this and I really like it. And I wish I had more things like this. And then boom, crazy pleated land arrives on my doorstep. So here's from the side. This is a really easy dress. Um, it's not really feeling like it's touching my body, which is what I'm looking for. And I think especially once I, if I keep it, which I want to at this point, um, if I cut the lining out like so breezy, um, obviously I'd want to wear something under it, which I always do, but um, like so great for like hot, <laughs> hot times. Um, I don't know what else to say. I really like it. I feel cute in it. I feel comfortable. I think it's so pretty. I don't own anything like this, like nothing. I don't own things in this colorway. I don't own um, a dress that has like this over flounce. I've had one before, but it's been a long time. Um, this pleated, I mean, I really like it. And I could play around with putting something underneath it um, and see how that looks in case I want like more coverage sometimes. Uh, without having to like put on a cardigan or something. Anyway, there's a zipper in the back, but you don't need it because it's so like easy. You can just put it on overhead. Okay. I'm gonna, oh no, I have one more dress. I was gonna say, I'm gonna leave this on while I put on the jewelry, but I'm not. I'm gonna show you <laughs> my last dress and then we'll do shoes and jewelry. Okay. Hello. Last garment um, and this dress is from Mod Cloth. I think this is maybe the first Mod Cloth item I've ever gotten from the Trunk Club. So it is a faux wrap. Um, is it even a faux wrap? I mean, I guess. It's a surplus neckline, but there's no like skirt faux wrap. It's just this cross, so I don't know. Anyway, it has a modesty closure here, which I really appreciate. It has little like kind of roughly floaty sleeves, stretchy waist, so it comes in at your waist, and then a self belt, and then it has pockets, and a big old skirt. So here's the skirt. <laughs> Y'all know I love a big skirt on dresses. It is fully lined. It's a really nice quality dress. Um, I really like the material. It feels cool on, um, y'all know I cut the lining out. <laughs> um, I like the colors. It is kind of vintage feeling with the red and that light blue together. Um, I am like primed to love it, except I don't love the fit. It's great from the waist down, but it's, a, it's big up here. And I was like, why does this dress look so frumpy? It shouldn't look this frumpy on me. And then I did this, watch. And all of a sudden, when the top fits me right, it's like not frumpy anymore. But I don't wanna pay, you know, my cloth is not the cheapest, so I don't wanna pay for the garment and then also for this big of an alteration. 
Um, if it fit nicely up here, I would want to keep it. But as it is now, it's just not, it's not cute. It's like too big. It's, I mean, it still looks cute. Like if I wore it out, I would not be like, oh my God, I look awful. But I know that it could be so much cuter. And so it's like, I don't want to buy it um, if it's not going to look that cute. Now, could I size down? I think the 3X would be good up here. But I wonder, let's see. Let's experiment. So I'm going to untie this so I can look here. Yeah, you know what? There's like a lot of room down here. I bet I could wear the 3X in this. So you know what I might do is when I give my feedback on the trunk, I might say, hey, next month, if it's available, can you send me a 3X in this dress so that I can try it? Because I do really like it, but y'all know I'm trying to be picky. I'm trying to, you know, I want to put something on and be like, hey, and that's what I keep. Like how I felt in that first outfit, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so, I mean, this is cute, but if it fit better, I just worry about, you know, sizing down and then stuff gets too small here, but there's a lot of room in here. It might be okay. Um, anyway, obviously lukewarm on this, so I'm not going to keep it. But um, I'll keep it on while I try on the jewelry for you. So hold on. Okay, I have jewelry to show you. The first is this. Can you see? These hoops. And they're not um, perfect circles. They're like a little more interesting. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just like slightly not perfect, you know, so that has a little interest, although you probably would never notice that. But I know it's there. So these are from Gorgiana. Um, and the, you know, little cards that they hang the earrings on, it had a price tag on it. So I happen to know that these are $60 because I just saw. Now, I picked all the jewelry. I picked these because I don't own any hoops. And I've been wanting to wear hoops lately. And I was like, what happened to all my hoops? I don't own any. And I like that these are hoops, but they're on a... Um, an ear wire like this and they're not like studs you know that go straight through um i like not having to wear a back on an earring because i have fat earlobes they're thick and so often when i have to put the back on it um i don't feel secure um like i feel like it's not really on there as well and so with this like i feel secure with it and i do know like if you're going to suggest like using the like kind of rubbery ones because they're smaller i do sometimes have this but i it's i don't always have them i lose them a lot so i just prefer like kind of dangly earrings in general so then on this side we have these little triangle guys these are from um uncommon james i think is was the brand can you see these yeah um and so they're just little very minimal but with like you know rhinestone-y things here and these uh, also had a price tag on them so I happen to know they were $52 um, and so this is like you know very minimal and small since I cut my hair I've been I, I chose these because since I cut my hair I've been wearing more stud earrings just because you can see them more um, when I had all that hair like you often just didn't see them so I like these and then I got this necklace but it arrived broken and that's a huge bummer, but also kind of good to know because if I had liked it um, and it's not like a great quality if it's broken, um, I'm trying to untangle it. <laughs> okay. Also, it looks like it would have been really small on me because this is like one layer. It's like a double layer necklace. So it would have looked, there we go. It would have been like this. Can you see this? Anyway, but this looks very small, even with the extender. Um, so I don't think this would have been good for me. But I think it's very pretty, and if it were, weren't broken. But, um, yeah, I don't know if it's not good quality or it's just that maybe somebody had this before me and they were rough with it. Who knows? But I did contact customer service, and they were like, oh, you know, thank you so much for telling us. We'll take it out of the rotation. I'm so sorry that happened, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, it's fine. I just want to make sure that um, I don't get in trouble for it because I didn't break it. <laughs> okay, so that is the jewelry. Um, choices again. I mean, I could keep both if I wanted, but I don't think I will. Ooh, my arm pulled this open. God, <laughs> I like pulled the material. I'm hulking out of things. Okay, 
Um, so yeah, of the two, I think probably the hoops, I got more excited about them. I do already have a number of cute studs that I have been wearing and I don't have any hoops. So I think maybe I'll keep these. I like that they're gold. I don't have a lot of gold jewelry because um, for a long time in my life, I didn't want to wear gold. Um, it's only within the past few years that I'm like open to wearing gold at all. So I don't really own a lot um, and these are nice. So, okay, shoes. All right, so for shoes, we have two pairs of shoes. Here are the Birkenstocks that she sent me. I asked for a fun color. These are a really beautiful lilac. I hope that the color comes across on screen. On the viewfinder, it's looking washed out, um, but it's really pretty. Maybe that's a little better. I like that it has the cute white soles, which is really different um, from the ones that I have. Mine are all black soles like that. And then of course the cork color. Um, so this is the Arizona style, like the classic, and it is the big buckle kind. So it's like a different edition. Um, the small buckle is like the regular ones. And then I think like the fun colors, um, the special edition ones are coming with these larger buckles that are the same width as a strap instead of being smaller than the strap. So unfortunately, <laughs> she um, put in the order for size 39 regular width and I got size 39 narrow width. Now I did put these on and my feet go in there, but I know that I need a regular width and not the narrow. So um, I did put, try them on and I do like them. So I contacted her and I said, hey, not only was the necklace broken, but they sent me the wrong width. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And she um, very quickly created another trunk for me with just these shoes in there. Um, and they're already in the mail on their way to me. So I should get them um, soon, within the next few days. And um, I mean, if they fit like a normal pair of Birkenstocks, I'm going to keep them because I really like these. And I know that Birkenstocks are really good for my feet. I have all these issues, which, you know, I won't bore you with, but um, Birkenstocks are great for me. And I don't have any like colors like this. I only have one pair of like colored Birkenstocks and they're very bright and bold. So I like the idea of having some that are a little more muted, a little more like pastel uh, to wear with certain things. So um, those are on their way and I will most likely keep them. And I will say, you know, I always stay away from the narrows, but I actually got my feet in here. So if you don't have like as wide a feet as me or as tall of an instep or as, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, no, that doesn't apply. So as wide of a foot as me or as tall of an instep, like you could probably grab a narrow if it's like the, you know, the only kind that they have, they don't have the regular. I never knew that. I always thought narrow would be really, really, really narrow, but it's actually not that narrow. <laughs> Um, so FYI, good to know. And then the last item that we have, the second pair of shoes are really cute, but I have to tell you, I'm sad. So here they are, they're from Bella Vita. They're just like cute little slides and this is perforated. So like great airflow for the summer. Um, they're in a wide and a size nine and a half. Yeah, nine and a half wide. They're so cute. I put them on and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna keep these for sure. But then I walked around my house in them and look, let me put one down. So you'll notice this has like a lip in the back. So your heel goes in here. But as I was walking around, it's like my foot was touching this and it was rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Every step I took, this lip was rubbing. If it didn't have the lip, if it just like went down to nothing and there was no lip in the back, I would 100% keep these. Um, but for me, they were just fitting in a way that like my foot rubbed every, I was like, oh no, absolutely not. I cannot do this. Um, that noise is my dog scratching herself, scratching her cone. Um, so really big bummer, but I have to say, uh, I also have very sensitive feet. So like something like that is going to drive me crazy. And, um, I also always have this problem whenever a slide has that lip. So if you have slides and that lip doesn't bother you, you'll probably be fine here. But what I wanted to say is they're wide, but also this is adjustable. So you can widen the laces even more to accommodate your foot. And I guess because there is a lip, you could put orthotics in here. So that is really cool. Oh, I wonder if I could put an insole and that would lift my foot up high enough. 
Okay, I'm gonna try that. I think I'm sending them back, but I am gonna try putting my insole in and see if it lifts my foot up enough to where it doesn't rub, because um, I just thought of that. Anyway, um, very cute, perfect for spring, summer. Um, I like them a lot, and if I don't get to keep them, I'm sad. But y'all, I wanna keep like almost everything in this trunk, so it's a little difficult. I'm gonna get the prices. Okay, I'm back with the prices and I have some decisions to be made because I want to keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. <laughs> um, and of course, some of the things I'm going to keep are the most expensive. Okay, 15 items. Uh, usually it's 12, but because I added the jewelry, it's 15, so you get even more things in a box. Okay, here we go. The white uh, sneakers that um, with the heel situation, $79.95. The mod cloth red wrap dress, oh, faux wrap dress, $79. I told you mod cloth is spendy. The pleated skirt from the beginning, $69. The high waist soft wide leg crop pants, First, can we just say that that was not a particularly high waist, and on me, those pants are like full length pants, and they're cropped pants. Uh, from BP, $55, the Caslon polka dot top, $49, the high waist shorts that I could not get on my body from Leith, $49, the in front linen blend camisole top, $35. I was like, that's a lot for that shirt. The polka dot top from Leith that did not fit me, $55, the pleated mini dress, the beautiful coral pleated dress, $89, of course. Um, the paper bag waist skirt from Caslon, $59. The chevron stud earrings with the bling, $52. The Birkenstocks, $134.95. The purple high-low crinkle top from Dantel, $54. The gold hoops, $60 from Gorgiana. And the triple strand necklace, I don't know what, it looks like a double strand. I don't know what the triple strand is. From Bobble Bar, it was $42. Okay, now I did pull up the website just to see if anything was on sale to like help me get all the things that I want. And things were on sale. Only one is an item that I wanted to keep. But this, the linen blend camisole, um, is on sale for $20. So I'm definitely going to get this in case you're like, what, which one? There were too many items. It's this guy that went with the midi skirt. So I'm going to keep this because it's only $20 um, down from $35. Now, of course, none of the other things that I wanted to keep are on sale. <laughs> well, okay. So um, I think I got so excited about the skirt. I loved it so much. Um... And I was just saying that I wanted more like pleated skirt things. So I'm going to keep this from Leith. Um, this was 69. And then, so here are the choices that I have to make. They're sending those Birkenstocks to me, which I'm probably going to want to keep. And those are 134. Um, so I need to be thinking about that. Now, luckily, and thank you so much. Uh, I have some credit with Trunk Club, ah, or else I couldn't keep like any of this stuff. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys, um, I make very little money in my life as a yoga teacher. And so getting credit through Dia or through Trunk Club or Imperfect Produce, like it really helps me. <laughs> it really, really helps me. So I, I like genuinely appreciate it so much. Thank you to anyone who uses my link. Um, like you are helping me to be able to eat the food that I want to eat, to wear the clothes that I want to wear and feel excited about my days. Um, but I don't have a million dollars. So um, I really like these hoops, um, but I think at $60, I can find hoops that I like that are not $60. So I do like them and I would keep them, but I think that I would get more use out of a pair of supported supportive shoes so I'm gonna keep some money for the shoes and then the dress this dress um, with the pleating is so beautiful and I really like it but I don't need it and I have a lot of dresses and so I'm gonna say no for now but I am going to tell her that if she 
uh, wants to send it to me again, I would be happy to have it. And then this purple top from Dantel I liked and had in my I would like to keep this pile. Um, and I'm not going to keep this because I would rather keep this because um, I literally thought about this shirt when it was uh, like in between trunks. And so, and I can think of lots of things that I want to pair this with and it's fun. Um, so, okay. So I am going to keep a lot of things, which I don't normally do. <laughs> and I can only do because of you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to keep the camisole, the skirt, that first outfit. Oh my God. And I'm going to keep the polka dot shirt. And then I'm going to um, pay for the Birkenstocks <laughs> because um, I'm really excited about having a color that's not like black or brown. Um, so yeah, I did it. And now is the time when you tell me, what did you think of this trunk? What did you like? What did you not like? What would you keep if it were you who was going to wear them? And what would you have kept for me? So many questions, but I really want to know. I really like hearing. Um, okay, y'all, this trunk was so good. It was so good. Even with the broken necklace, even with the shoes coming in a narrow, like, this is one of, like, the best trunks I've had, I think, for sure. And I love being able to add the accessories. I love being able to pick a few things and um, throw them into the trunk. I'm excited to add um, maybe in the future more jewelry items. I have the same jewelry for a long time, and so I like the idea of mixing in some new pieces, especially things that I maybe wouldn't have been like, oh, I gotta go out and look for a pair of gold hoops, but then they're there and I'm like, oh yes, I think I would like some hoops actually. Great. I hope that you're having a great day. I hope that you feel loved and supported and um, if you don't, and especially if you don't, please know that I love and support you, even if we've never met. And I really appreciate you being part of this community and watching these videos and um, engaging with each other in the comments. I love seeing that so much. Uh, okay, I'm rambling a lot. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.